Hello, this is Roberto, and in this module, I'll be um, discussing about uh, war stress. Uh, this module aims at giving you the skills you need to correctly stress words. War stress is important because it helps you to speak clearly. Below the module offers the rules that you need to study um, to correctly identify word stress. Make sure you set some time aside to practice. This course does not aim at making you sound like a native speaker. I believe that as a non-native speaker of English, we should embrace our language identity by keeping our distinctive accents but at the same time, being able to communicate our ideas clearly and effectively. Another, another important note, um, it is, in, it is uh, pivotal to master word stress first in order to move on to the word reading system with pictures. I'm gonna start with type of word stress. There are different ways in which we use word stress. This can come down to the type of word, its context, or form. For most part, to discover word stress, you learn to pick up the correct word stress through three basic steps. Step number one, divide words into syllables. Step number two, identify where the stress is. You can use a strategy, trust your ears, not your eyes. Um, what I mean by this is that uh, you need to pay attention on the way words sound instead of the, the way words are written. Because sometimes we have words that are pretty long, but um, the pronunciation of it is sometimes two or one syllable. So pay, pay, pay close attention to this strategy and it's gonna help you out uh, with um, your identification of stress. Uh, step three, connect the stress syllable with the picture. This step is gonna be after we finish this module. I'm gonna start with uh, how, uh, teaching you how to connect pictures with stress. I'm going to start with two syllable words. Rule number one, nouns and adjectives. Nouns and adjectives with two syllable words have stress on the first syllable. For example, here, mm. this is the first syllable, mother. We don't say mother. This is where you put in practice trust your ears, not your eyes strategy because it helps you identify, kind of like the music of words. Mother, happy, samples, carton, rainy. The stress goes on the first syllables because the first syllable, because we are um, talking about nouns and adjectives. Rule number two, verbs, in prepositions. If you're talking about verbs and prepositions, um, the final syllable is stressed. For instance, the verb decide. The stress goes on the second syllable. One, two, two syllables, second syllable. Insult. Another one, be Behind, relax, receive, direct, among, side, between. Please close attention when we are using the same word, but this word also takes a different uh, form. For example, it can be a noun or it can be a verb. 
it depends on the pronunciation that we give to this word. If we are using this word as a noun, the pronunciation normally goes on the first syllable. Import. But if it's a verb, the pronunciation is or goes on the second syllable. Import. Present. Present. But in the case of witness, the stress goes on the first syllable. Witness as a noun and witness as a verb. There's no variation in pronunciation with this one. Moving on to three syllable words. With words ending in er or li, the stress goes on the first syllable. Easier, this is the first syllable. The word ends in er like in this one here, the words end in ER, therefore the stress goes on the first syllable. Elderly, manager, passively. Rule number two, words that end in a consonant or and Y. The stress goes on the first syllable as well. History, rarity, optimal, gradient. Words that end in a suffix. I call these magneto suffixes or magnetic suffixes because if the suffix is here, the stress goes on the syllable next to it. For example, ek, artistic, platonic, characteristic, shun, retribution, classification. Pay attention, the suffix is here and the, uh, and the stress syllable is just next to it. Reposition vegetation one more shun extension edible edible durable laughable eo differential social financial Shian, musician, physician, clinician. Moving on, with these um, suffixes, when we use these suffixes, all of these suffixes have stress or our stress suffixes for example the word lemonade the stress goes on the suffix aid lemonade crusade arcade for words ending in this suffix the stress goes on e trustee agree employee we need to make sure that we put some uh, uh, some stress on the last the last syllable. Japanese, career, antique, critique, cassette, balloon, raccoon. Now. Strategies to identify war stress and recall it later. The first strategy that I mentioned before is trust your ears, not your eyes. Make sure that you pronounce words several times and you find the music of the word. And use your hands to establish a connection with your brain to recall the stress of words in the future. I'm going to teach you this in our Zoom meeting. These activities 
um, activities are going to be discussed in our live meeting um, on Zoom. But I want uh, to give you kind of like a glance of sort of a description of the activities. The first activity is um, put the words into the right column based on the number of syllables, then underline where the stress is. Activity two, we're going to work on example three only. Uh, show where the stress is by clicking on the words. Activity three, drag and drop the words according to the stress. Use the this visual as your reference. Activity four, listen it. Listen to the audio and record yourself. Try to imitate the way they pronounce words and pay close attention to the bold-faced words. These are all the activities I'm going to be including. And at the end, we're going to have a speaking activity in which you're going to have um, to put in practice what we cover um, in this module. Uh, once again, if you have questions about this, um, you can always um, come back to this video, review this as many times as you want. I'm going to upload this video on YouTube so that you have it as, um, as a reference in the future. Um, furthermore, um, I will let you know when the, the Zoom meeting is so that you put it on your uh, schedule. And over there in, in the Zoom meeting, I'm going to review uh, all of this again. I'm going to practice it, practice it together. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And uh, all right, see you, uh, see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.